Muhammad Hassan. For 85 years now, the Football Association of Malaysia has been building the beautiful game for an entire nation. The Tigers of Malaysia have fought hard through the years and support for them from the fans has never waned. But a new millennium demands new ideas, new thinking and a new way forward. And that way is the F-30 Roadmap, a three-phase strategic plan executed over 12 years to reshape the game and create the footballing future that we desire by 2030. If you look 12 years back, football was very different. The rules of the game was different, technology was different, sports science was different, coaching was different, licensing was different, the style of play was different, qualification World Cup formats were different. It's not a fantasy but it's reality, I've seen the details of it and which is good, we have put it into document, I think it's hard enough to challenge but realistic enough to achieve and I think the governing body have really put their mind and soul and heart to drive this wagon. I'm extremely excited about the future of Malaysian football and the part that this is roadmap is going to play in that. The F-30 roadmap is built on the idea of restructuring and fixing the fundamentals that underpin the Malaysian game and is built on three key pillars. First, governance, a new system of thinking to organize people and policy. One that unifies and focuses mindsets, creating a culture of positivity, professionalism, pride and integrity in the very people who work within the game, pushing them to greater heights to produce stronger results. This first thrust of the F-30 roadmap will see increased networking, productivity and communication lines set up between leaders and teams in a constant cycle of review and progress built itself on education, empowerment, certification and knowledge transfer. This is a collective effort which not only FAM has to play its role, but it's got to be a role played by everyone, including the government, including the sports ministry, including us, and also including the affiliates, and also the public in general. With revamped marketing and sponsorship initiatives coming online, all catered to the new digital world, the F30 drive will allow FAM to protect the game, become a natural industry leader, and maximize commercial value. Landmark initiatives included in this first stage are statute reform in line with AFC and FIFA statutes and bringing trust at all levels back into the system. I believe we can make it uh, much better towards 2030 and definitely we are looking at a lot of uh, achievement towards the 12 years of the program and hopefully by 2030 we should have one of our youth team to be in the World Cup. The second arm of the first strategic plan is aimed at enhancing development comprehensively in all areas, with aims to be ranked within the top 100 teams in the world within seven years, and to be a central player in Asian football before that. Some might say these are lofty ambitions, but the new roadmap that will address the philosophy of football to coaches, players, referees and officials alike means soon the world could witness a unique Malaysian way of playing, a consistently winning brand of football tied to our DNA that fosters a culture of excellence. What I find in uh, Malaysian players, they have a special thing in them. That speed, the three meter speed, the four meter speed, that's what we have. And if we can develop this on our advantage, including skills, techniques and all this, and the way we think in the game, and we can improve on this, we are right on with the DNA. All the coaches who have been with the national team, who have been with the national youth team, they should come together, put our heads together, and not only find out what are good for us, but what exercises can improve us in order to play what we want. Whether it's developing mental or physical toughness, identifying talents early, boosting technical capabilities or enhancing capacity in both the men's and women's game through the coaching charter which will educate and develop coaches through courses certified by FAM. The President's Initiative focused on supporting FAM's affiliates to improve their capacity and capabilities, all through enhanced ties to the Malaysia Football League. The F-30 roadmap will provide and guide a new generation of Malaysian football players from grassroots to glory. I think to be realistic, we have got to come within us. We have got to have our own DNA. We, are, we idolize other country players and everything, but do we have the material? We must be very realistic on it. And of course, we want to be a powerhouse in Asia. Five best MAs. That's our vision and philosophy. And we have good development programs upskilling coaches, 
right? And of course, grassroots is very essential. The grassroots charter itself will unlock the world of football for our Malaysian youngsters and increase their participation in the game through programs, the FAM Grassroots Award and Ambassador, fostering lifelong links to the game for all who take part. A pro referee program is also in place, which aims to create world-class referees from Malaysia from 2019 onwards. We focused on making sure both hand of development and hand of competition speak to each other. Training without competitions is worth nothing and competitions without proper training is worth nothing as well. We ensure that these two key pillars of development and competition speak to each other. The pathway of a child being born and, and having the passion of the game is now protected with the pathway of competitions and development through our grassroots charters, our coaching charters and our competitions now that fall back to ages of 12, 14, 17 and moving upwards to where we already are. We are trying to now expand that growth of competitions to protect the development of the child. The third pillar is set to create a new playing field to test this new thinking, skills and techniques being nurtured in the cauldron of competition itself, offering for the first time a balanced and focused approach to not just the men's game, but also in the women's and futsal. From under 12 to under 20 level, Malaysian youth players will now have cups, carnivals, revamped leagues and special events, both local and international, from which they can show their new fighting spirit and playing style. FEM plans to revive the First Touch program. We believe that it's about the grassroots development where the non-elite children is about focusing and, and start planting seeds around at different places that we go and we hope to see that it's not just the elite players that will have more of the focus but it's about the development. With reintroduced events such as the Pesta Bola Merdeka and brand new competitions planned such as the InterVarsity League, the football calendar in Malaysia will be boosted with a touch of the old and new, while the fans will be treated to a brand new view. And also within that future, the Pro Futsal League aimed for a 2019 launch, boasting a prize of AFC Championship participation, creating a clear and competitive pathway for any team playing in the States League, National LFK or FAM competitions. It's a very good start-off point where people will know what they are really going to do for the future of football. FAM, congratulations once again. This is what we need. At least we can know now where do we fail. If we fail, where do we succeed and how do we improve and we do have to succeed more in future. So the roadmap is of course the best thing that has ever happened uh, recently. FAM always have traditionally, historically, always have that special place in Malaysian society. Now, I think with the new leadership of FAM, they have to show the people that they're very committed, they're very serious in ensuring and delivering on this roadmap. And I believe that this plan, this dream can be turned to reality. With a dedicated staff of over 100 people in 21 units and six departments, featuring internationally renowned trainers, consultants and coaches who have already been working for months, the future is looking brighter and brighter by the day. Football is the world's most loved game and any nation's social responsibility is to open that game to the people, champion it and protect it. The F30 roadmap in its three phases of four years each will build a foundation from which the Malaysian Tigers can take on Asia and then the world. Malaysians can feel proud that their football is about to get a new kick into the 21st century. <laughs>